Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Emily Sang. I am one of the lecturers of the, um, the chemistry department at HKUST. First off, thank you for your interest in our chemistry program. Our chemistry department is currently ranked at um, number 22nd according to the QS World um, University Ranking. Um, we have 26 faculty members in our department and all of them have, um, have, have a doctor's degree and many of them are experts in their research areas. Now we currently have 300 undergraduate students and about 100 postgraduate students. Um, we offer degrees in various um, so we offer various degrees, including um, Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, um, MPhil, as well as PhD degrees. Now, um, in terms of our graduates in their um, um, employment status, every year over 95% of our students are able to get their first job offers by September that year. Now, for our curriculum, um, we have a few important highlights. Um, first of all, our program offers solid foundation in chemistry knowledge, as well as a lot of practice in um, obtaining laboratory skills and techniques. Now, our program is also very flexible in terms of allowing our students to choose um, um, se several options of interest. I'll talk more about the options later on. Now, outside the classroom, we also, we also offer um, students some research opportunities as well as other internship and study exchange opportunities. Now, when we design our chemistry program, um, we, we really want our students to focus on obtaining analytical skills as well as problem solving skills. For those that are interested in joining our chemistry department, um, if, you, if you are admitting to UST through the JUPIS um, system, you should choose the science group B um, option. Now, if you enter our, cam our um, um, campus um, um, through JUPIS, in the first year, you are actually um, entered as a science student. Now, in your first year, as a science student, you will be taking uh, a number of science foundation courses. And at the end of your first year, you would then um, um, join our major declaration exercise where you can decide to choose chemistry as your major. Now, once you enter the major in your second and third year, you will be, um, you will be taking um, courses as a chemistry student, and in your second year, you, you will be mainly taking organic and inorganic chemistry. And in the third year, you will be doing analytical and physical chemistry. And at the end of your third year, you will be allowed to join our um, chemistry option declaration exercise, where you can decide whether you want to specialize in one of our um, chemistry options. Okay, so I'll talk about um, those options in more details in a little bit. Now, in the final year, um, you will be um, um, completing a chemistry capstone project as well as taking those chemistry courses that are associated with the chemistry option. All right, now here, this is a pie chart to show you the distribution of the various um, course credits um, that, are, um, that are required to complete the um, Bachelor of Science Chemistry degree. You can see here, um, out of those 120 course credits, about one third of them would be occupied by your chemistry major courses. The other third will be um, occupied by the school requirement courses. Okay, so those are the foundation um, science courses that you will be taking in your year one. And then the other third will be the um, university common core courses, which are um, some of the more um, general study courses, such as language, computer courses, or other um, um, math courses and so on. Okay, and then whatever remaining credits, you can use that towards um, free credits, sorry, sorry, free electives or um, to complete a minor or even an additional major. All right, now in terms of the courses, um, I just want to give you guys a, a brief overview. Okay, so in your first year, um, you, will be um, you will be required to take um, some of the pre-major requirement courses. And for chemistry major, you need to complete two courses, um, chemistry, sorry, general chemistry one and general chemistry two. And once you enter our major in your second and third year, you will be taking um, these um, chemistry foundation courses, including organic and inorganic chem in your second year. And then in your third year, you'll be taking analytical and physical chemistry. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, on top of lecture courses, you are also required to complete a, a series of lab courses. Okay? And you can see here, um, basically for each lecture course, we, we always have a complementary 
um, lab course to 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 let you um, obtain hands-on training on the different um, chemistry subjects. Okay, so we have. Um, lab courses for general chemistry, lab courses for organic, inorganic chem, as well as lab courses for an analytical chemistry and physical chemistry. Now here, this is a list of our um, offense level chemistry electives that um, students can freely choose these courses um, in their senior years. Now you can see that um, these elective courses are separated into different categories and students can um, use some of these courses to um, um, to obtain credits to be used towards their option as well. Okay, and I'll talk about the options in a minute. All right, now outside the chemistry courses, we also have some um, courses that we require our students to complete. Okay, the first one is the capstone course. Um, you can see here we offer a selection of courses for our students to choose from. Some of these um, capstone courses are research based. Okay, so they might need to go into the lab and do some experiments and write a uh, research report. And then some of them are um, literature based projects. Okay, where they need to look up um, information from um, scientific journals and then write a, um, a term paper on a certain chemistry topic. Okay, now we also require our students to obtain some basic math skills. Okay, so um, the year one calculus first level is required, as well as another um, second year math course that is taught by our faculty members, which focus on math skills for chemistry um, students. Okay, and also we have a subject specific language course, okay, language 3022, which is a English course designed for chemistry students specifically. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, we offer a lot of flexibility in our program. Um, you can see here um, on the left, we have the, um, the normal, the basic degree um, for the, um, the different um, credit distribution for a basic chemistry degree. Now, for those students that want to um, um, get more chemistry knowledge or for students that are um, thinking of um, later on completing a graduate degree, they might consider completing an option within our program. Now, if you want to do a chemistry option, um, you will be taking additional chemistry courses, um, about um, additional 14 credits in chemistry advanced courses. Now, um, for each of our options, we require our students to take um, four additional lecture courses as well as two additional lab courses. And here are the four different options we offer for, to our students, including the biomolecular chemistry option, okay, which focuses on um, on some of these um, biological molecules like proteins, DNA, sugars, as well as some drug synthesis or drug um, biomolecule interactions. The second option is the environmental and analytical chemistry option. Okay, so this option you'll be learning about um, some of the more advanced analytical skills as well as some of the environmental monitoring skills, um, um, sample um, preparation, sample analysis, and so on. The third option we have is the materials chemistry option, okay, which is um, talk, um, focusing on the design and the synthesis of advanced um, materials. Um, like some of the um, advanced materials include um, LED materials, solar, um, organic solar cells, and so on. Okay, and then we also have a pure chemistry option, um, which is an option that um, um, it's focused on obtaining more advanced knowledge in um, fundamental chemistry, as well as giving students flexibility to, um, to um, um, select courses from the elective list according to their interests. All right, so that's all I want to um, share for the um, courses part. For students that are interested in you know, um, getting a, a more information about the courses, you can go into our um, program catalog and then read about the courses if you like. Now, in the next part, I also want to talk a little bit more about um, our co-curriculum activities. Okay, so what we offer to you outside the classroom. Okay, so first of all, um, we have a very popular exchange program. Okay, where um, we currently have about sixty um, university partners across the world, which allows us to send our students to spend a semester there to study, um, as well as earn credits, which can be transferred back to to um, UST and use it towards their degree here. Okay, and you can see here, this is some of the photos of our students um, joining the exchange program. And you can see that um, you know, on top of taking courses, a lot of them will also spend some time traveling around and making new friends and learning about new cultures um, in other countries. All right, now um, we also offer a lot of research opportunities even for our UG students. Okay, we offer um, UG courses um, that are research-based 
Okay, and we also have a capstone research course as well as um, other research programs that we allow our students to join. Okay, and we also offer a internship course, okay, um, which um, we have um, currently about um, 15 industry partners in Hong Kong, okay, which allows us to send our students um, to do a internship, uh, sorry, to, to work there as an intern and then gain some working experience in, in a chemistry um, related field. Okay, so we have um, partners in different um, sectors, including those um, in the testing and certification labs, in some of the um, pharmaceutical companies, or even some um, government um, departments, okay, or some um, factory, um, food factories as well. Okay, so here, this is some photos, okay, of um, our students, okay, doing an internship at the Fighter Green Pharmaceutical um, Company in Hong Kong. Okay, so this company is specialized in providing um, healthy or, or health supplements. Now, um, students in this, um, uh, in this internship would be required to do some um, quality control or quality assurance um, jobs. Okay, so they will be analyzing these um, 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 supplements to see whether the active ingredients in this supplement are up to the, um, the, the standard um, claim by, by their product label. Okay, and this is another example of our students doing an internship at one of the um, 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 Hong Kong Conservation Office. Okay, so um, these students were sent to one of the museums in Hong Kong where um, she was analyzing some of these artifacts um, and trying to f figure out what kind of materials these artifacts were made of and then come up with um, preservation uh, methods or restoration methods to help um, preserve or restore these artifacts. Okay, and lastly, I just want to talk a little bit more about our graduate prospects. Okay, so every year about 20% of our graduates um, will be, um, will, will, con um, will consider to um, pursue a further study. Okay, some of them might stay in um, locally at UST and um, some of them might go overseas. Okay. Now, in terms of um, job opportunities that are um, directly related to chemistry degrees, um, um, some of our students may um, work as a chemist in um, either in um, government labs or in some of the um, um, local um, um, testing labs or um, 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 various R um, department uh, R and D departments in other um, industries, or they might work in some pharmaceutical companies, or um, some of them might um, work in education sectors as well. Now here I have some statistics, okay, on the employment status, okay, for um, our graduates of the class of 2018. And you can see here, um, in terms of um, getting employed, um, our students are very successful, okay? Um, about um, um, 70 plus percent of our graduates are able to land a job, okay, um, upon graduation, okay? And then um, about 20% would go into further studies. And then um, over 95% of our students are able, to get, are able to get their first job offers even by September that um, of their graduating year. Now, in terms of the job nature, you can see here um, um, our students are working in a lot of different jobs. Okay, majority of them might work in um, science-related or research-based jobs. Okay, and some of them are working as a teacher. Um, some of them are in administration, management jobs, banking, um, service work, and so on. Now, what I'm trying to stress here is that, um, as I mentioned. At the early part of my talk, um, our program is really designed to train up our students in their analytical thinking and problem solving skills. And we believe these skills are very important not only in chemistry jobs, but also in other types of jobs um, that, that, uh, um, that you can apply these skills. Okay, and lastly, these are the information that you can ch um, check out. Okay, if you want to learn more about our program, our faculty members, and if you have any questions, you're free to email either myself or um, Professor um, Xu Hei Huang, okay, who is a UG coordinator of our department. Okay, so that's all I want to share today. Thank you.